Hey guys, so today you are joining me from my living room. I have tidied it this morning so that I can film in it. And I don't know why I haven't filmed in here before because the lighting seems to be so much better than my room. So behind me, as you can see, I have some dresses. I also have some garment bags with my garments in, which aren't gonna be shown. But today I wanted to talk about graduation dresses because graduation is creeping up for most people, which is terrifying. But yeah, I myself haven't actually thought about graduation dresses since like the last few days. And I don't really think it's that much of a big deal, your graduation dress, because obviously it's going underneath your um, cape thing, um, gown. But I feel like it's still something that's going to hold quite a lot of sentimental value to it because it's going to be like, oh, that's the dress I graduated in. Um, so I found a few that I think would work well under gowns um, because that's the other problem is that every university has different colours in their sashes um, and also gowns are just a bit not the most flattering probably <laughs> so yeah i've been thinking about it for a few days and in my head i've got like ideas about colors that wouldn't go but you could probably wear black but for me i don't think black would be a good idea under a big gown because it will camouflage in um to the gown i think it'd be nice to have something that breaks up the colors a bit and i also am steering clear of things that are really long because um the gown obviously cuts off around your calf um which is an awkward point for any cut off anyway um, and so if you've got like a bit extra underneath I don't know it might work really well if you have a really nice long dress that you want to wear um, but I haven't really been looking at long dresses so there's no long dresses in this video apart from one is reasonably long so yeah I'm gonna be trying these dresses on for you guys as well I'm gonna just sit and talk through them and then try them on for you before I try any dresses on I'm gonna start with shoes I have two pairs first one is this nude pair of block heels from Primark. I think there's gonna be a lot of standing up on the day, so I wanted something that was heeled, but something that was comfortable, and these are actually super comfortable. They have a really thick heel. The place that we're graduating in has like cobbled streets as well, which is not good for like stiletto pointy heels. Um, so these should be good sturdy heels, and also they're nude, so they would literally go with any dress. And these were £10, which is just crazy prices. And then the second pair are from Raid. Um, these were on ASOS. And they're almost exactly the same height and style, except they've got um, just these two straps over the foot. And then you don't really see this back strap because it's around the back. Um, and these are just really smart looking. I think you do want to look quite smart for graduation, so I'm going for a kind of smart look okay i'm gonna get started with the dresses now first one is this gorgeous gorgeous slip dress from zara it's quite long um but it's in the most amazing pink hot pink color slip dresses just look so elegant and they're so great for like proms or balls or anything there's not much to them but i think that's what makes them so elegant and smart looking so i love this one i picked it up in a size small but i've actually reordered it in a size extra small to see if that one looks a bit better because um, this one looks a tiny bit big on um, so I would size down if you're interested in this one and it was £30 which for a really nice satiny feeling slip dress is such a good price and also it's got adjustable straps which doesn't happen on every slip dress and I love a cowl neckline on slips because I find when it's a v-neck then it can be quite hard to wear no bra with it because there's just one layer of satin. <laughs> Whereas when you've got a cowl, you've got a bit more coverage in that area. So I'm so happy with this. I'm also really excited to wear it in spring and summer with like a big chunky knitwear over the top. So yeah, it's just such a good find from Zara. So this is my first dress. And I think it would go with either heels to be honest. It would look quite nice with the nude ones probably. Um, or the black either so this is what the pink dress looks like on it's a really nice length so i feel like the gown would come to like a similar length or a bit shorter and then i paired this one with the nude primark heels i think this is just such a classic 
silhouette so I feel like this is a good safe option for a graduation dress. If I were to wear this dress on the day I'd probably go with like a really nice soft wavy hair look but I quite like the straight with this dress too because it kind of goes with like how sleek everything is. And these earrings that I have on in every outfit are just from ASOS I think. Oh, actually no I think Ella got these for my birthday so I'm not sure where she got them from but probably ASOS. <laughs> but yeah even just for summer it's just such a nice dress and normally like these sorts of dresses can be really static on my legs um, and like cling to the back of my legs but this one is just so soft and it doesn't cling or get static or anything so I love it. Okay this next dress I picked up in the sale in Zara. I can't remember when, I think it was kind of recently but it's this mini little sequin dress and I thought if you're wanting to be a little bit extra on your graduation this is like the perfect little thing. I'm not sure if they still have this online but if they don't then I'll find something similar. I think it was something crazy like seven pounds in the sale. So yeah this is super fun I thought I'd just throw this in there. But yeah I'm sorry if you can't buy this one anymore but I thought a short little sequin dress would look quite cute for graduation. Okay, I forgot exactly how short this dress was, so it's quite short, but I think it's quite fun for a graduation dress. Nice simple neckline, just nice simple shape, um, and then a bit of fun with the sequins. Um, I've got it on with the nude heels, but I think maybe it would look better with the black. Maybe this is more like an after party graduation dress, but I think it's so cool. Um, so I will link something similar down in the description bar for you guys if you like it. One minute. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. So this next dress is from ASOS and this is one I think would work really well. I was really, this was one of the ones that I picked up and I was like meh. And then I tried it on and it's so figure flattering. It's got a really square neckline and it really cinches you in. Um, so it's very, very flattering. So on top of like a big cape, it'll look really good. This was quite an expensive dress. I think it was like 52 pounds, but it feels really lovely and it fits really well. So I think this is like a good occasion dress and they also had it in black or red, but I think they're selling out quite quickly. So if you want it, I would get it now. So this is what this one looks like on. I've paired it with the nude heels. I was wearing the black ones a minute ago and then it just didn't, it looked too like dentist-like. <laughs> so I swapped it out for the nude heels. Yeah, I really don't normally go for dresses like this because they're so tight. But I feel like this one is actually super flattering. It's just, looks like this at the back. Cuts off at such a nice point on the leg that makes bottom of your legs look really skinny. So yeah, I really like this. I think this would be a really good option for graduation. Then a really lovely, like thick cotton as well. So it's really nice. This dress would probably look best with like straight hair or like a slick back, low updo sort of thing. Yeah, I love it. Super classy feeling when I have it on. I feel very... <laughs> The only thing that annoys me about these dresses is you can't take very long steps because, like, <laughs> such a lady. This next dress is super cute and this was just from Primark and I saw it the other day when I went in and it's just such a simple silhouette, just a mini little polka dot dress. But something like this can just look so classy and just effortless. I think this would work so well with just little black heels. And then the black gown and hat. And also our graduation is in summer. So it's nice and lightweight and just such an easy dress. It's also just a really nice dress for summer. And this was £10 from Primark. What a bargain. This dress is so sweet. However, I literally just sat down to put my heels on. And it's creased so badly, which is such a shame. So maybe this isn't the best dress to graduate in but I still thought I'd show it because it's so cute. And I put it on with the little black heels from ASOS and I think it's such a nice look. Yeah, you could still get away with this for graduation, I guess, but it's just the creasing really annoys me. So that's such a shame because you could get some really cute pictures with this and your little black hat, and your black cape. 
still think it's a really good dress for £10 though. I was also on the hunt to find the perfect little white mini dress because I think a little white mini dress for graduation would be so cute. This one is from Zara. It's not that mini, it's quite a long mini which is quite nice, it's quite smart looking. But it's a knitted dress and it's got so many lovely details. And this one was... £30. So yeah, I love this. And also you can wear it for graduation and then you can just wear it for the rest of summer. Like you can get more than one wear out of your dress. <laughs> so here's a little white dress on. I paired it with the nude heels. I just think this is such a classic look. The neckline and sort of armhole details are so pretty on this dress. It's just super comfortable as well. Like you'd be really comfortable sat waiting to graduate in this dress. <laughs> I also feel like it's a nice short length like it's not short short like it could be way up here but it's quite a conservative look for a graduation so yeah i don't know if this will be the one that i actually wear but i think it's a really good option okay and then the final thing i have is something i picked up from zara last year so they don't sell it anymore but i'm sure i can find something similar but it's a play suit in this gorgeous bright pink color which I just love with red hair, I think it goes so well. Especially for occasion wear, it just really makes it pop. Um, so yeah, I love this. I also just love the fact that it's polka dots. For some reason, going back to polka dots again. I wanted to show this more for like the silhouette of an idea of something that you could also wear. Um, something that's a bit shorter, like cinches in at the waist. Yeah, I thought this would be super sweet under a gown, maybe with like nude heels or even the black heels, so yeah. Just thought I'd show you that one. I'll find something similar and link it below for you guys if you're interested in wearing something like that. This is one of my favorite things I've ever bought in Zara. Such a flattering cut. And then it's obviously really short, but you don't worry about it being short because it's short. So yeah, I think this could probably work for a graduation outfit your cape over it. Probably put some nice jewellery here to cover up this area a bit. And again I just think the colour just works so well with red hair and pale skin so if you are very fair and I think this colour goes really nicely with really pale skin. Obviously really well with tan skin as well but not every colour always goes really well with pale skin so love it. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful. I still can't get over the fact that I'm going to be graduating soon. Let me know in the comments down below which dress was your favourite, which one you think I should wear for graduation. At the moment I think the pink satin one is my favourite, um, but I also love the like little white and the midi white, so I don't know. Anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! And I saved the best till last. Yeah.